as you probably know. When infantry is in cover, they get defensive bonuses against damage that is coming from the other side of the cover. What you may not know is that when an enemy unit gets close enough, even though they are still on the other side of cover, the defensive bonuses of cover no longer apply against the damage from that close by unit. This is known as the point blank mechanic. The point blank mechanic comes into effect when the enemy unit is 10 range or closer. And here is what 10 range looks like from max zoom out to help you calibrate your feeling for this in game. This 10 range leeway helps the point blank mechanic function in more scenarios, like when the squad formations are somewhat spread out and the models on the far edges of the squad try to shoot at each other. The point blank mechanic nullifies the defensive bonuses from light and heavy cover, but not garrison cover which continues to offer full defensive bonuses even against an enemy unit that is right outside. The point blank mechanic only applies to small arms fire, including heavy machine guns and anti-tank rifles. It does not apply to other sources of damage like flamethrowers, grenades or vehicle cannons. Even the relatively small caliber weapons like the Humber's main gun don't have point blank enabled but vehicle mounted machine guns do benefit from point blank. From a gameplay perspective, when closing the distance on enemy infantry that is in cover, the point blank mechanic means you don't have to jump over to the other side of cover to do maximum damage. This means your squad that is now point blank can stay on this side and benefit from the cover against different enemy units that are on the other side of the cover and beyond 10 range away. Because of the 10 range buffer, when I'm closing in on an enemy unit that is in cover, sometimes I like to hit stop when I believe my entire squad is inside 10 range, but they are not yet directly next to the enemy unit. This way I am still nullifying their cover, but I reduce the amount of time my squad has the firing on the move penalties applied to it. This can sometimes be the difference in winning and losing a very closely matched engagement. All squads have their maximum damage per second at range 0, and it only starts to drop off at range 7 or 10 depending on the squad. So getting closer than this doesn't help you do more damage, and is only necessary if you want to use the cover yourself against other enemy squads in the region. While digging around in the mod tools to research this video, it mentions here that the point blank mechanic may remove the penalties applied by being suppressed. So I created a mod to test if this was functioning in Co3 by making a squad impossible to pin. The suppressed squad that was point blank still had greatly reduced DPS compared to the unsuppressed squad at the same range, indicating that the point blank mechanic was not nullifying the suppression penalties. Trying it the other way around, I then modded a soldier to have 5000 health and compared how long it took to kill at around 9 range versus 11 range. The model at 9 range died when the 11 range one still had around half health. I believe this demonstrates that the model inside the point blank range wasn't getting any of the defensive bonuses from being suppressed or pinned. I then modded the MG42 to only do suppression, zero damage and made the rifleman immune to being pinned. Since the Tommy has a close to flat DPS profile, I put one just inside 10 range of the suppressed unit and the other just outside, then compared how much damage they did. After about two and a half minutes in this state, the point blank squad had dealt 2,500 damage and the 11 range away squad had dealt roughly half of that. Given the defensive bonus of being suppressed, these numbers make sense. So when your HMG suppresses an enemy, try to get one of your units point blank on it. You will do full damage to them with that nearby unit, and their damage in return is significantly reduced. This allows you to dominate the fight. I personally did not know this mechanic existed 
until after I started working on this video. This will significantly alter the way I play with heavy machine guns, allowing me to force away suppressed units much more rapidly. A huge thank you to all of my Patreon backers, and if you want to see more videos like this one, I hope you consider coming on board.